people in charge uh, um, making, th making sure we're doing the right thing um, and be thankful for the things we have, you know, thanks to the troops who protect our freedom and um, just, you know, we just need to have thanks for everything that we have and appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. okay. We have some public comments, I'm sure. But first we got the roll call. Trustee Shake, here. Trustee Benoit, here. Vicky, louder. Oh, oh. Uh, Trustee. Oh, Rob, sure. okay. sorry. Sorry, that's okay. Trustee Rivera, here. Trustee Rivera, here. <laughs> Supervisor Bond, here. All right, we have more. Any public comments? Uh, Sue Steiner. Do I stand anywhere? Or, um, or just stand here? Grab a microphone. I'm making a public comment here. Um, I'm, I'm here in response to a patch article that said, Homer Township clarifying false statements once again. And the one paragraph that says, there have been concerns and false information regarding the clay fill gifted to Township. During a recent Village of Homer Glen meeting, Village Trustee Stylin brought these falsehoods to light. The constant lying to taxpayers about this subject needs to stop, and due diligence will be placed on bringing correct information to the public on this matter. That sounds like I'm lying, and it sounds like the village is lying. And if you haven't seen the village board meeting video, if you go to the two hour and 24 minute mark, you will see that all I did was say, can I have here an update on what's about the certification of the soil at Trantino. Many residents are concerned about a lot of soil being dumped there. Where is it coming from? And prior to posting it on your website, we never had an answer. Um, Commissioner Porfilio is not here to defend himself, but he would just say it's coming from a project in Orland Park. So a residential project, you might think its foundations being dug, that's nice clay, it's not gonna be a problem. Well, here's some photos, if you haven't seen them. All that clay and stuff that's being dumped at Trantina Farm is coming from a road project. It's the side of a road. I don't consider that clean clay. That's not worthy of some kind of inspection. So I'm going to ask you for that, to have that done. And um, so when you're looking at spoils from construction, I would suggest that you look at the village. We have plenty ourselves. Bell Road is a Will County project that will probably have plenty of clay that they would like to get rid of instead of spending $40 to dump it and get rid of it somewhere else. So why is this such a good deal for our residents to get something from Orland Park and Cook County? That's all. Thank you, Sue. So. Normally we don't respond to people when they speak, but uh, the article you read is in how it was written. And well, I, it's I the same. Know. Wait, it's the same wait. article. The same paragraph is on your website. Well, I'll go look at it because that isn't how it was written. But it's right here. Uh, well, I will check the website. website. Don't worry about. it. I will check the website because uh, when I wrote the article, I wrote it and it said that uh, on yeah, your report, you, you opened it up about the uh, play, and that's it. You didn't say nothing. Well, you didn't say anything, and the mayor shut the conversation down, and that was it. So you didn't say anything, but I realized that because people were asking, uh, we put the uh, reports, the, the clay reports, on our website, and I have to check to make sure that when they put it on the website, they didn't change it around from what I wrote, but I didn't originally write it like you read it was just said that at your report, uh, you started to talk about the clay and the mayor stopped it. 
And that's just how it went down, correct? She yep. said, you know, basically yep. what was going on. Else. Right. So then nothing else happened. But I know that the uh, uh, reason that you brought, that you brought up, and other people are saying that the clay is soil. And so we have the uh, reports, the engineering reports on our website. I have it right here. And it so, takes you about two feet to get down to to the good clay. You're getting asphalt for the first 12 minutes. And then we're, we're getting paid by that developer to dump the clay, and he's also doing all the excavating. We had no charge for us. So we've got about, uh, according to the real commissioner who is in here, we have about $200,000 worth of uh, work put in there by the uh, M&J group, and the township is making some money off of it at the same time. So just so I, it's you, know, I'm, you know, but it's on our website, the amount of money we're making, the uh, report that was done by the engineers, you know, so it's it's all there. But I just, the only reason I even, I'm saying anything is because what you read is not what I wrote. And I will make sure that what I wrote is up, okay? Okay. Because you didn't say anything. You, which is, you just brought it up, that's it. Okay. Uh, next we have uh, uh, Vicki Bozen couldn't be here. So this is our administrator, Patty Comer. And Patty, you wanna do the yeah. clerk report? Um, motion to approve June 12th. You have to be louder. Motion to approve June 12th, 2023 monthly town ship board meeting minutes. I'll start the motion. I'll second. Call the vote. Call the vote. Call the vote. Okay. Call the vote is passed. No, call it the name. We've got to call the roll call. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Angela Shade. Trustee Shade. Yes. Trustee Bonomo. Yes. Trustee Rivera. Yes. And. No. Okay. All right. Motion carried. Motion carried. Motion carried. And the, parade. and the parade, we wanted to thank everybody who attended and participated in the Homer Township Parade on Saturday, June 24th. Um, the streets along Parker Road were filled with parade attendees. It was a huge success and an expense. Revenue report will be available at the August meeting. And then the Pet Expo, we wanted to also thank everybody who attended and participated in our inaugural Pet Fest on Saturday, June 17th at the Town Center Park. Um, we estimated there were approximately 700 attendees, and that was also a huge success. We got a lot of wonderful comments regarding that. And um, as of Ju July 7th, the revenue collected was $3,481, and the expense was $6,398.44. Thank you, Patty. Okay, now we go to my report, and uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, when we get FOIAs, the, the uh, FOIAs go on our website so everybody can see them. And we got a FOIA here, and I'm gonna address it publicly. It's uh, pursuant to the Illinois Freedom of Information Act. That's just, I won't go read the whole thing. It's just saying that he, this person wants a copy of these reports. And it's Kurt Mason, he's one of the trustees for the village. He wants a copy of the 2021 W-2 for Township Supervisor Steve Ballard, uh, a copy of 2022 W-2s for Steve Ballard, copies of each pay stub issued to Township Supervisor Stephen Ballard for the calendar year 21, copies of each pay stub issued to the Township Supervisor Stephen Ballard for the year 2022, Copies of each pay stub issued to the Township Supervisor Ballage for date calendar year 2023. I understand that I may be required to pay a reasonable fee for duplication of said records after the first 50 pages. I would appreciate a response to this request within five business days of submission. And this was submitted on 5-7, and I told the uh, clerks that uh, what they need to do is just direct them to our website because the information is on the website. But the thing that I'm going to say is because the question is if the information is all on our website already, 
why would somebody want to know all this stuff? It's all kind of like uh, information that's nonsensical because there's nothing behind it other than saying I make X amount of dollars. Well, I think what it's about is about a month or so ago, people were on social media saying that I take five pensions and I want to clear it up because I don't take five pensions. Uh, when I started here at the township as supervisor, I could have taken the pension if I wanted to. I was eligible to, but I did not. When I started in Will County, I did not take the pension even though I could have. And Mike Frizzalone, he was uh, my partner at the time, he did not take the pension. And together, we made it so that the rest of the county board members did not get any pension. So because of the two of us, we stopped all future county board members from getting pensions. So now I don't know what other reason the re you know, a person would be asking for that kind of information because obviously uh, anything that would be other than my salary would get redacted because it's nobody's business. So I don't understand it, but I guess is that he wanted to see if I'm getting IMR a pension from the township the supervisor and the county board for being a county board member for 12 years. And even though I was eligible, like I said, I did not take them from either place. Does that make me good or bad? It doesn't make anything. I just didn't think it was the right thing to do. That's all. So with that said, we'll move you know, on to the see, next. You know, I'd like to say something oh, go ahead, Mike. about that. Because I've known you probably longer than most people in this room, and this is a person with an incredible integrity, honesty, and all, and works harder than most people that I know. You know from, a, from a voluntary standpoint, from a political standpoint, and for somebody who is newly elected in a town that we all represent together, I think that should be put in question. Um, you know, uh, you want to put down a good foot forward, and for somebody to make those direct accusations, Steve is, is really accusing him of doing something illegal or unethical. And for someone who's been elected 18 times in the last how many years, who's represented this township, county, village for the last 20 years is absurd. And I think his, the person who fo uh, filed that for you, Mr. Mason, Mr. Mason should be questioned. <laughs> and um, you know, we're, we're, some of us may be talking on Wednesday at the village at the village meeting. And uh, you know, there's going to be some commentary directed at him as well for some of his actions, which could come in question. But um, me as a friend, co um, political um, worker together. To question his integrity is shame on them, and that's all I have to say. Okay, we'll move on unless there's anybody else. No, no nobody else on the board. Okay, um, next item is the uh, micro pantries. Uh, we've been talking about them for a long time. We are now accepting donations for the micro pantries. The micro pantry one is out here. When you walk out the door, look to your right. And there's another one over where uh, Billy Malley's uh, salon is. There's a, a Homer Republican campaign office over there. It's right over there. And the uh, micro pantries are for the uh, people and for pets. So it's called Fishies and Loaves, which was a great name. So uh, we're looking for people to just stop by there and donate stuff. And it's for people or pets. So. The way we figured at our board is that if people can't afford food or they're having problems, take, they need food, they sure need food for their pets. So these are a little bit bigger than most micro pantries. They're the size of uh, a large doghouse probably. They're uh, four by four by six. So anyway, uh, the townships uh, doing that in conjunction with the Homer Republicans who are going to be stocking that thing. No, with our guys. Okay, the next is an update on the Trantina, and uh, we're still uh, going through with the engineering firm to try and get together a plan. And we met with them this week, and hopefully, we're going to have a presentation for everybody about the Trantina in August. So we'll call it a workshop or whatever we're going to call it, but uh, the public will be invited to see the plan. And it all goes back to the uh, 
referendum that happened in I think 2019 or 2020. I can't remember which year. But uh, it all goes back to that when the people said to build a community center. And so we're gonna build something that's uh, gonna be really nice and it's a good size and it'll fit all the needs, hopefully. The problem is I refuse to go out and bond out to get any money. There will be no property tax to do this. We have to do a property tax that ain't happening. We're not going to do anything because the people in this town are suffering enough with the increased water bills and the property tax already went up a whole ton of money. So that will not happen. This board all agrees no property tax increase, period, at any point. The next thing is the Homer Township Parade uh, where we sent an application into the village of Homer Glen uh, the day after the parade, the Monday after the parade, excuse me, and we haven't got the application back, but uh, just want to uh, get that moving so that we can start planning it. Now, uh, I don't know why it's taking so long at the village, but um, whatever, it doesn't matter. But we can't we we can't start planning it until we have the permit. So uh, if we don't get the permit, then I guess I gotta go down to the village and see what the problem is. But um, we'll leave that go for right now. And then there's a motion to accept the resignation of Mike Lawson as Homer Township Collector. Oh, Matt, Matt Carmen. Or Matt Carmen. Oh, I'm sorry. See that went quick. <laughs> motion to Matt Conley uh, moved to Lock, the Lockport Township. So he no longer lives in Homer Township. He was a good trustee. But, you know, you have to live here. So Matt's gone, so uh, I need a motion to approve accepting his resignation. I'll second the motion. I'll second the motion. Do we need a roll call on that? Uh, you can do a voice vote. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion carries. A motion to accept the resignation of Mike Floss and his Homer Township Collector. Now, Mike did a great job as Homer Township Collector for what, a whole two months or something like that? But, uh, you know, he's excited to move up. And uh, we kind of had a lot of people from Collector move up because of uh, different reasons. But you know what, Mike's a real welcome addition to our board. Uh, so I need a motion for that. First of the resignation. First of right. the resignation. I'll start that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. You're you're no longer a collector guy. <laughs> All right. Stick out the street. <laughs> Thanks for the opportunity. Right. Uh, motion to appoint Mark, Mike Lawson as a Homer Township trustee. I'll start that motion. And I'll second the motion very broadly. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, more, welcome aboard, Mike. <laughs> you know what? We'll, we'll do the, because uh, we got another one of these, so we'll do them at the end, right after this part here. Okay, motion to approve the appointment of Mike Gondek as Homer Township Collector. I'll make that motion. And I'll start my motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Welcome aboard, Mike. Okay, we'll square them in then. Mike? Lost. <laughs> I'm gonna have a problem right now. I'm gonna have to call people by their last name. Yeah, just okay. Okay. Uh, I'm Mike Clausen. I'm Mike Clausen. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I support the Constitution. That I support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And, and the Constitution. Of the state of Illinois. Of the state of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the oath of Homer Township Trustee. The duties of the oath of Homer Township Trustee. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. <laughs> and now we have my God.
I am Michael Gunda. I'm Michael Gunda. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. Of Homer Township Tax Collector. Of Homer Township Tax Collector. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. All right. Thank you. Welcome to the board. Yeah. Well, I like our board, except, man, the, all these mics. <laughs> I'm sure glad that there's not another one. I'd have a real problem. Okay, next we... Uh, Mike you. <laughs> you got a mic See? right there. You can't have enough mics. mics. Well, you can't have enough mics. No, yeah, I know. You got four mics. <laughs> I'm going to start calling them Hayes, uh, Gondak, Bonomo, and Clausen. Forget about the first names. <laughs> okay. Um, motion to uh, get the cost of returning to gas heat and our maintenance garage. Right now, electric, and electric costs a ton of money. So I want to find out uh, how much it's going to cost to go back to the gas that we had. And... Um, there's a possibility we can use the same heaters we used to have a long time ago because they're sitting in the garage and I was told they work. And if they do, we've got to find out the cost to put new ones in. So uh, can I get a motion to uh, just to go finding, this, this isn't to actually do it yet, just is to find out how much it costs to do it. I'll serve the motion. All in favor? Oh, no. I'll second that motion. You've got a roll call too, right? It's, money. Uh, it's an yeah. expenditure so you, yeah, so you need yes. to have a well, well, this isn't an expenditure. No, no it's at least finance, finance related, yeah. so I, yeah. I um, want me to do it. Okay, without the yeah. Yeah. Oh, so we have to do roll call? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Trustee Fedona? Yes. yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. yes. And Trustee Classon? Yes. yes. Motion carries. See, she cheated. She didn't use your your first name. Okay, uh, motion to approve the newly updated employee handbook. Can I get a motion? I'll start the motion. I'll second. I'm going to call the roll. Okay, roll call. Uh, Trustee Shade? Yes. Trustee Benoma? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. And Trustee Klassen? Yes. Motion carries. Okay. Motion to approve. A 2011 Ford F-250 as surplus property with a Kelly Blue Book value of the range of 18881 to 23400 with a typical list of 22154 And the reason it's surplus is because um, the assessor's office doesn't have a need for the truck anymore. And it was uh, given to, to uh, first it was given to the township by the road district under Mike DeVivo, and that was a long time ago. And then the township gave it to the assessor, and then the assessor didn't have any for it now. So uh, instead of just hanging it onto a truck that's gonna just sit somewhere, we're gonna uh, sell it and take the money and we can use it for the Trantina Civic Center. I'll, I'll start that motion. I'll second that. Roll call. Uh, trust, roll call. Trustee Shake? Yes. Trustee Benoma? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. And Trustee Clausen? Yes. Okay. Motion carries. Okay, the next thing is Highway Commissioner's report, and uh, I'm looking to see if there's anything new on here. Uh, Just the salt, Steve. Okay. Uh, maybe. A, I read the same stuff before. Okay, the Muslim cemetery is probably the only new thing. Uh, when you when you were asking about the uh, the uh, 
Clay, Sue, yeah. when you it's on, it's on the report here from Brent. So if you look on our website, it'll be on the report. But he, it's the same report he read last time, so I didn't see a reason to read it again. Um, Will County Land Use Department approved a site permit for the Muslim, I can't say the word, UMA, U-M-M-A-H, cemetery located at 181 31 South Meter Road in Homer Glen, sub subsequent to their approval, and as a state law requirement, Homer Township Road District granted an access permit to the owner of the cemetery in order to construct an asphalt access road and cul-de-sac turnaround at a $25,000 security bond, which was requested and was provided by the owner to the Homer Township Road, uh, road District for any repairs needed to meet a road after the access road has been completed. Their access road cul-de-sac driveway are scheduled to be completed this week and after completion of the Homer Township Road District site, access permit will no longer be valid for them to mobilize heavy equipment and vehicles to form to or from their site using Homer Township roads, which exceed the posted road limits, road will be road weight limits. So um, what he's saying is that once their permit that they got is all finished, that's it. They can't go on there anymore. And uh, there's a, what I know of uh, from the state, there's a state law that they're looking at. I don't remember the bill name, but there's a state law about a different way of burying people. And if that passes, because it's just right now, it's a, a house bill. And if it passes, they'll be talking about something different about putting people in uh, a vessel and letting them uh, decompose for four to seven weeks and then they'll bury the bodies what the uh, culture requires because it's not just Muslim culture it's also Jewish culture and there's some other cultures so it, it, and it's been going on for a long time people have been doing it in other in like uh, cemeteries that are existing already so you know I don't know what's going to happen as far as the state, but the state has a bill, All right? He and he bought the salt, but he told us that last time. Uh, Carmen Morello, do you have a, an assessor report? No report. Okay. Okay. Uh, committee and trustee reports. Uh, senior task force, Mike Bonomo. Yeah, a couple of things. Uh, you know, uh, at the um, Homer Fest, we uh, had a, a senior day, and we actually did a salute to the soldiers where we recognized veterans. We combined it into pretty much one event. And, uh, you know, people, some people I want to thank, you know, between uh, Cindy and our, you know, as a co chair, um, Vicki Bozen, Karen Rohde, Angel Shakes, Luann Garin, Jay Rohde. Um, uh, Karen helped out. A lot of people came and helped out with with the preparation and the event. And uh, Mike Carlson did the sound for for the event as well. We had uh, Ed Turfin doing the uh, you know doing the MCN along with Michelle helping out as well with the, uh, Michelle Turfin. And uh, with the salute to the soldiers, we had five World War II vets that attended, starting ages 102 down to 98, which was incredible. And um, we had Korean vets, Vietnam vets, and, and current soldiers as well. So, um, you know, great success. And we had probably about 100 people attending all together. And very patriotic, and the seniors loved it because, um, you know, thanks to Joy Red Hats and uh, Edible Rain Hats, they provided the food for, for the seniors and the veterans. So, overall, it was a great event. We're looking forward to a bigger one next year. Um, in regards to senior bingo, uh, St. Bernard's is allowing us to um, have our bingo there tomorrow because Cross Glory had there was a conflict with the uh, uh, a schedule, and that again leads back to Trutina Farm and having a community center where we don't have to worry about conflicting events when we want to hold our events uh, for the seniors or people in public. So that um, you know that again is an important thing for us to do. Um, September 16th, sorry, September 16th, 
Uh, as last year, we, we did a Senior Lifestyle Expo, and we're going to do it again this year. It's going to be on September 16th, that's Saturday, um, at the Hadley, Hadley Junior High. And we're going to start preparing that now. We have done some preliminary stuff, but you're going to see a lot more uh, being advertised for it. And uh, we expect it to be bigger than last year. And um, with that, that's that was the senior report. Now you have to double check. Excellent, Mike. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we, we had $15,000 budgeted. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. You want to? Oh, and. Uh, and in terms of the uh, the Senior Lifestyle Expo um, last year, I, you know, for the money we asked, we didn't spend nearly all of it, or it didn't even come close. This year, I'm going to ask the board to approve uh, a fifteen thousand dollars budget for the Senior Life Lifestyle Expo. Sir, the, it's already it's approved. It's already, it's already approved for it. Well, so I want to thank everybody, you know, for for that. Um, we don't expect to spend all of it, but um, it gives us a you know a. a, a and how much you spend last year? About seven thousand. Yeah, about seven thousand. Yeah, yeah. Because we will, you know, we do get donations as well as. Um, but in terms of the volunteering for it, uh, it's second to none. And um, you know, we again, it'll be a big hit this year. That's fine. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank all the volunteers. Too. Yeah, yeah. God bless I all. Of you. Okay. Then we have special needs committee Angel, and I know she hasn't had a chance. I just, yeah, I just want to something? bring up the well, well, I just want to let everybody know that we did um, that Brent had um, a sign hung up for this for the uh, road commissioner special needs grant and um, they allowed him to hang it up at the fest um, during the, um, the the special needs day to try to you know encourage oh, people for the special needs you know adults um, he still does not have applications so he's leaving it open um, you know, for now, um, we're trying. If you, if anybody knows any special needs adult, the requirements are that they have to be a high school graduate and they have to live in Homer Township, and those are the only two requirements. And um, there's actually, you just go right on the website um, to the township website, and you know, you can fill it out. You know, have them fill it out. Um, I've talked to uh, the manager at Jewel, just trying to like, encourage people that if you know anybody that can benefit from this, please let them know. That's it. That's a shame we can't get anybody. <laughs> it's like free money for somebody that really needs it. But uh, we'll keep working on it, right, Angel? Okay, then the next one is the uh, uh, Land Use Committee that serves as our plan commission, basically, and we haven't had anything come in from the county, so there's nothing we had to talk about. Uh, Trustee Rivera, do you have a, a report? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Trusty boss, you got a report for the 10 minutes you've been on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so now we move on to accounting. Motion to approve all payment of bills for June 23rd. Founders Crossing Bond, Founders Crossing General, General Assistance, Open Space, Park Developer Contribution, Park Town, Road and Bridge, and Equipment and Building. Need a motion? I'll make that motion. A second. Call the roll, please. Uh, we'll call um, Trustee Shade? Yes. Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. And Trustee Clausen? Yes. Motion passes. Okay, we don't have any new business, and we don't have any old business, and so uh, we have no, no uh, executive session. So can I get a motion to adjourn? I'll start the motion. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye.